Hello. Hello, everybody. I think we're live. We yeah. are. Great. Great to see you if you've just arrived. Um, just wait for a couple more people to pop up. Can we actually see? <laughs> I don't, don't know how to make that work. We'll anyway, see comments, so here we go. Right? Yeah, two people. Great. Great to see you guys. Um, so um, tonight's going to be um, a slightly longer time of prayer. Um, we're going to have some prayer. Um, we're going to worship together and we're going to take communion together. So if you haven't already done so, if you could make sure you've got some wine or the equivalent. Um, oh, this is actually wine. Yeah, yeah, this time we've gone for real wine. Wow. Um, <laughs> and make sure you've got some bread or crackers or oat cakes or whatever. No, it's just real bread as well. <laughs> yeah, so make sure you've got both. Um, also, I'm going to be sharing um, a little bit of um, scripture tonight. So if you've got your Bible on you, that'd be really handy so that you can look up the passages as we go. Um, okay, great to see you all. Just going to give it a couple more minutes. We're Just squinting to... because we're looking at iPads. <laughs> Difficult to see what you're saying. That's why I'm squinting. <laughs> cool. Okay. Shall we shall we make a start? Sure. Fab. Okay.
five, it talks to us, doesn't it, about Jesus being the high priest and how now Jesus can go into that place on our behalf, how we don't need a, a physical high priest anymore because Jesus is the high priest. And because we have a relationship with him, because he died for our sins, we can now be in that, in that place. We can be in that holy of holies with God. I just want to read now from um, 2 Corinthians 3. So if you've got your Bibles on you, we're in 2 Corinthians 3, and I'm just reading from verse 16. Really um, a familiar passage to many of us. But whenever anyone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we all, who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory, are being transformed into his image with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Lord, we want to thank you that we can come to you with unveiled faces. We do not need to hide from your glory, God. You are just as holy as you've ever been, but the difference is that now we have been sanctified by your blood. Now we have been redeemed. Now we have been rescued by you, Jesus. And so we can come before you with unveiled faces. We can step through that torn veil into your presence, Jesus. And um, I felt like as God was speaking to me about this, about the torn veil, um, I felt like he, he said to me that for many of us, uh, being in this pandemic has almost felt as though um, there's a veil again, that there's almost a separation, like almost a physical separation from his presence. That there isn't, but it can feel as though there is. Um, and I think especially as we haven't been going to church for so many months and I think for many of us that can be the main place that we can really tangibly feel God's presence as we worship corporately um, but I really felt God say to me that um, we, we can access his presence not going to church etc it's harder to to feel it but it is still there and we can still step into that presence and so I just really want, um, if you're one of those people who's just felt over these few months like you've struggled to, to know God's presence with you, I just encourage you now just to hand, hold out your hands and I'm just going to pray for those of us now that feel that way. Yeah, Lord, um, I just want to speak against the lie that um, we might have believed that we can't get into your presence at the moment, that we can't access the throne room of God. I want to speak against that lie, Lord, and I want to thank you that your word says, or that we have read tonight, that your word says that we can access the throne room of God because of what you did for us on the cross, Jesus. That we can step into the holy place, we can step into the holy of holies with unveiled faces because of what you have done for us on the cross. We can know your presence and your glory, Lord, in our homes. We can know it anywhere and everywhere. And we just want to receive that tonight, and we want to welcome your presence into this space tonight. Just encourage you, just out loud, just to welcome God's presence into your home. Just to take, maybe even take a step forward wherever you are, as an, as an act of saying, I step into the, the Holy of Holies, I step into God's presence. I throw off anything that hinders, I throw off any of the, the burdens of the day, the sin that I might need to repent of in this moment. And I step into your presence, God. Step into his presence. Take that bold step into his presence. I really just feel for many of us tonight that this is a significant moment of, um, of choosing to acknowledge God's presence here with us. It never went away. It's always been here, but for some of us it's just been hard to, to access. We can 
holy ground that we can stand in his presence because of what he has done for us. So join with me now, if you like, singing Be Still. Lord 
Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Take our bread. Thank you that this bread was broken for us, Lord. Your body was broken. After supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. Finally, verse 26, For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, Claim the Lord's death until he comes. And so tonight, Lord, we proclaim your death once more, Lord. We proclaim the truth of what your death has done for us, not just for us, but for this whole world, Lord. You died that we might come to have a relationship with you, that we might come to know you intimately, Lord. We thank you. We receive you afresh tonight. joined us tonight we've been talking and praying through um, the truth that the veil was torn in two when Jesus died on the cross and what that means for us that we can now step into the holy of holies because of what Jesus has done for us and as we stay in that place of welcoming your presence Lord we just want to kneel at your cross tonight Thank you once again for your cross. And so we're going to sing together now the song at the cross. If you know it, join in. If you don't, just listen to the words and allow them to minister to you.
us in our homes. We thank you for speaking to us tonight, Lord. We thank you for the truth that you reminded of us, reminded us of tonight, Lord. And so as we finish this, this meeting tonight, I just um, remind you that you have full access to God's presence, full access to the throne of God. And I just pray a blessing on you as you as you go about the rest of your evening. May God bless you and keep you. And may he know, may you know his presence with you. See you all soon.